All right, let's cut right here. So GTEC asked me to do some reviews of their resin. So we have Vitoff and we have the water washable, but this cooperation got so weird. I honestly do not know what to do anymore because the tough isn't available anymore. Disappointed! They only provide the standard and the water washable. I'm like, what? So I have tested the tough. The tough, spoiler alert, very good resin, <laughs> but they don't sell it anymore. So what the hell am I doing now? Okay, everything you see past this point is pre-recorded. So this was before I knew that they were not selling the tough. But don't click away yet because we still have some really relevant pricing information. And we have the tests of the water washable resin, which are still valid. So yeah, let's go, I guess. Hey everybody and welcome back to the 6th episode of the Resin Testing Gauntlet. My name is Eve and you are watching Mosey Works. Today I have two bottles of GTEC resin. We have the tough and we have the water washable. Full disclosure, this resin was sent to me for free. I did not have to pay for it, nor any money exchange hands, so I can be as unbiased as possible. GTEC is a bit known in the FDM world and now it seems like they are pushing to get some more exposure in the resin scene. Now this really feels like they do not have a lot of experience with the resin because the curing times they provided me which were all way over four seconds this is a mono screen lcd and everything like a water washable i have never had to print a water washable over four seconds i already addressed my concerns to them that they have to do some more looking into the resin exposures and putting them on the bottles there are no curing times to be found on these bottles and the curing times that you can find are way over spec that's not playing let's start with the smell tests as always i'm going to compare the smell against this anacupic eco resin i found this a very annoying smelling resin so i'm going to start with this one yep very resiny as always no surprises here then we are having a smell of the gtech tough yeah this is very smelly very stinky resin it's almost that on the same as the Anacubic Eco, so very bad smelling resin. And then we have the water washable resin. It's a bit better, but it's still very stinky. We had water washables that weren't as stinky as this one. This is a very bad smelling resin. This is not as bad, but still not great. It's not somewhere in between. It's somewhere in between and very bad. So we're going to start off with the GTEC Tough. The GTEC Tough really printed like the Syria Tech Blue. It's very goopy and it's a very thick resin. It's a lot harder to print this resin. One example I can give you is, like you can see, the peel forces were huge. I'm using an ACF FEP and still this had a lot of peel forces so you will have to print this resin very hot and very hot I mean 30 plus C is going to be ideal for this print but if you do so you will see that the prints coming out are looking very beautiful this is a nice looking bust we have all the details present the supports were very easy to remove this is just a great print then we are going to look at printer accuracy by the first look all the threads are nice and present so the detail resolution is very great on this resin let's try it on this nut yeah there is there is no way that I'm going to get this nut on this bolt. So we are or overexposed or we lack the details, but the threads are looking fine. So I think we are a bit overexposed. This is going to take a lot of trial and error to get the exposure just right. Then we have the warping. This resin block is really severely warped. There is no corner that is straight on this block. So this has a lot of stress in it during the printing. Like I said, the peel forces were really high. Then and we have warping of these prints and they are fine it's not the best it's not the worst i think i will give them a 1.5 out of 3 the warping is okay-ish it's not that bad then we come to the gtex water washable and i'm afraid this is the worst looking warped print i have ever experienced in the resin testing gauntlet these are all potato chips also these are potato chips 
But the block printed a lot better than the tough. The peel forces weren't as high. We have a high spot right over here, but we have a good looking cube to do some strength testing on it. Then the bust came out great. We don't have a funny looking feet. All the details are present. This is looking like a very good bust. The supports were very easy to remove. One thing I can notice is that we have some chipping right over here. So this seems to be a bit more of a bristle resin, but this is a great looking print. There we have the nut and bolt test. The detail on the bolt looks to be dulled down. I think we lost a bit of detail on the bolt. And if I look into the nut, it's looking okay, but Let's test it anyway. So this was printed at 2.1 seconds of exposure on the Algo Jupiter and not the four that they recommended. And we are stuck. I could get a few threads on, but we are stuck on the bolt. So we lack some definition in the print or we are overexposed, but printing at two seconds with an ACF FVP, I do not think we are hugely overexposed. So I would say that we lack some definition into the print. And one other very cool thing I found out is that these resins are very translucent. So this is the same black that you will see right over here. So you will have to print these very thick to get the dark black color. And for example, if I shine a light behind it, it's very translucent. As you can see, it's not that black as any other resins. So the first look, not looking that great, but there's only one way to find out, and it is right here in this testing machine. Here's a little side note. I have flattened these long pieces because they were so heavily, severely warped that the testing would be pointless. So I heated them up with this hair dryer. I have put some weight on it and now they are nice and flat. So great little tip for you. If you have warped prints and you want to get them back to flat, take a hair dryer and put some weight on it. Now let's continue with the testing. We have reached the final testing and we're going to pre-drill it with a 4mm, then go after it with a 6.8 and tap it with an M8. After that we will torque it up until it breaks and if this one doesn't make it, this is about 23 Newton. We always have this big boy and this will definitely break this little sucker. So first off, we are going to start with the water washable resin. This is a very good shaped resin. We only have a high spot right over here. Now let's put it in the vise and test it. We are going to start at 5 newton meter and we are going to work our way up to 23. Let's start with 5. And I hear it cracking. 15. This is going to be the last one. It's cracking like crazy. <laughs> 17 with a lot of cracking. Just barely 19 Newton. And we have a fail at 21 Newton. Now it's up to the tough. This is very warped. Let's see how strong it is.
we are going to reset the test at 5 newton. This is going to be 21, we still don't have weird sounds. And, <laughs> yeah. okay, no weird sounds. We have filled at 21 Newton and we had no cracking, but we definitely had a massive failure. You can see it by this huge crack over here. No massive fails this time. The tough definitely cracked up. It wasn't a massive explosion and this one just lost the threads. Now at the back side, we have no major blowouts, a bit more on the tough side, but all by all, it did very good. But while drilling it, I noticed that when we inserted the 6.8 drill, this was feeling very brittle. All right, that's all the testing. And as you can see, yeah, the tough. Not a bad resin at all. Very good in the properties. You cannot buy it anymore. So I think I have one of the last remaining bottles of the GTEC Tough. I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm supposed to be happy about it, but yeah, it did really good. So let's go to the pool test. The GTEC Tough was one of the best tough resins in the resin lineup. We have the Nova Prime, we have the Standard Plus and the Sierra Fast doing better, but the GTEC Tough delivered a surprising result of 403 Newton meters of force or about 40 kilos. And then we have the GTEC Water Washable at 266 being a very weak resin. It's the weakest resin except for the Sierra Tech Tenacious, but you cannot count this because the Syria Tech Tenacious is very flexible. So the GTEC Water Washable, worst resin in the pool test, and the GTEC Tough, very good resin in the pool test. It beat the Conjure Tough, which has 360 Newton meters of force with about 40 Newton meters. And then let's look at the push test. The GTEC Tough, the best resin in the gauntlet. <laughs> So it has a 233 Newton meters of force, beating the Conjure Tough and anything behind it. Then we have the GTEC Water Washable with 98 Newton meters, making it almost the worst resin on it, except for the Sunlu Tough, the Syria Tenacious, and the Sunlu Standard. So the GTEC Water Washable is a very weak resin, also in the push test. The GTEC Tough. Then let's have a look at the thread strength test and the Conjure Rigid is still the top dog in the testing. We have 38 Newton meters of force, but we have the GTEC Tough coming in at 19 Newton meters and we have the Water Washable close behind 19 Newton meters. So they are definitely able to get drilled and tapped. Then we have the stiffness test. Both resins are in the middle of the pack. So 12 out of 12, they are both very flexible and at the halfway point, they are uh, yeah on the stiffer side. So it's not a bad result. We want some flexibility in the prints so they are less prone to breaking. So one thing I mentioned in the testing is that this resin was very warped and I have heated this to flatten it and the water washable warped again all over and it's all crooked again. So this is a very warping resin. Then if we look back at the tough, the tough did a lot better, not a lot of warping after flattening it. This is looking to be a very good resin. Then let's talk about the warping, the water washable. I gave it a 3.5 out of 3. <laughs> it was the worst resin I have ever tested in the warping performance. And then the GTEC Tough did fairly good. I gave it a 1. So there is a bit of warping. It's not that bad. It's very livable. And then let's talk about the pricing and a lot of things have changed. Almost every brand in the resin testing gauntlet dropped their prices except for Syria Tech and Sunlu. Syria Tech stayed about the same, nothing has changed, but the Sunlu resins all got more expensive, which is really weird, right? So they have bumped up the prices of all their Sunlu resins, but at the same time, they give you a 90% discount on every resin they sell. So it looks like they are inflating the base price to give you some kind of uh, sale, but the sale is almost permanently. So why don't you just give the correct price? This is completely BS marketing, but I think overall the Sunlu, like the ABS-like, I really like that resin. The resin performance 
performed great, while well, that resin got more expensive. Even with the sale on it, the resin is still more expensive than the first time I did the testing, about a year ago I think, so Sunlu getting more expensive, but all the other resins, except for the Conjure, I think Conjure also stayed the same, but we have Young He. Young He has dropped all their prices, and for the best, uh, the lowest they go on the Standard Plus is $26.95 and this is including shipping. But the biggest surprise was the Nova 3D lineup. So in the previous video I talked about Nova 3D, their prices were way too much in comparison with the competition. And I don't want to take the claim that it's all because of the videos that I make, but if it helped, well, <laughs> you're welcome. So the Nova 3D uh, water washable dropped to $23.95, which was a lot. And at the same time, the Nova 3D Prime, which didn't test all that great in the resin testing gauntlet, dropped to the lowest price that is in the resin testing gauntlet at $23.95. So this is by far the cheapest standard resin you can buy right now. Then we have the Anycubic Eco, still the same price. They do not adjust the pricing. The uh, testing that I did didn't was performant enough to, uh, to, to be able to justify for it. The only thing I can do is keep mentioning it, that the Anacubic Eco is way too expensive. And then of course, the GTEC water washable comes in at $31. Now, for the $31, you get two half liter bottles. They don't sell. Uh, water washable in one liter bottle so you will have to buy two which comes at a 31 dollar pricing and looking at it it's not the worst it's not the best it's somewhere in between but we have water washables 23.95 like the nova 3d which has a bit less of a warping issue a bit a very small bit but it's coming in at 23.95 the water washable is 31 dollars so i would say gtech you have to lower your prices because it was by far one of the worst water washable resins i have tested so far then the gtech tough looks to be it's not going to get on the market i have the one and only bottle of it i think and it's the best tough resin i have tested in resin testing gauntlet yeah so uh gtech if you're watching i would consider launching this because this was great resin so all amateurism on the sides, this resin tested really great, the water washing bowl wasn't that great. That's going to be it for me. This was a really weird version of the resin testing gauntlet. We got some price changes, we have some new water washing bowls, we have the best resin ever tested that you cannot buy. So that's gonna be it. Guys, thank you for watching. I want to thank GTEC for this read review. And uh, guys, I see you in the next one. Oh yeah, before you go, I have a lot of other videos you can watch right over there. I have a complete playlist of other resin testing gauntlets. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. You're helping me out big time. Bye bye.